Hi, I'm Allison, and today I'm talking about a metaphor within relationships called an emotional bank account. Specifically, the emotional bank account between you and your narcissistic parent. It's probably exactly what you're imagining. Like a physical bank account, you make deposits and you make withdrawals. Within a relationship, deposits are positive interactions. They're acts of kindness, actively listening, spending time with the other person doing something meaningful. Withdrawals are negative interactions. So ignoring the other person, insulting or accusing the other person, avoiding or denying their unique perspective and point of view. A healthy relationship has a positive balance in their emotional bank account. They have a foundation to draw from in case there is a withdrawal. Unhealthy relationships have a negative balance. There are continuous withdrawals and emotionally, it builds up resentment within most likely both parties. Very important note, this is not keeping score. This is noticing if you're in a relationship that mutually invests into each other or in a relationship that does the opposite. My relationship with my mom in the beginning, in my childhood, had a pretty balanced relationship. There were deposits and then there were major withdrawals. Over time, however, it became clear that the balance was shifting. There was a more negative balance, the more withdrawals, bigger withdrawals than deposits. When I decided to go no contact, the event that catalyzed that decision wasn't something super dramatic or major. It was more so the straw that broke the camel's back. I felt like I was constantly making deposits only for my mom to make a withdrawal. It was like I was giving, she was taking. I was giving, taking, giving, taking, giving, taking, giving, taking. And I just decided to stop giving. Now, I take the energy that I was giving into that relationship and I put it into a relationship that mutually invests into our emotional bank account. This concept is super helpful in separating people from problems. So if you're in a problematic relationship that is massively awful, but your identity feels tied to that person, a mother-daughter relationship is a good example of when that could happen. You can separate yourself from the relationship and see it as this concept. Is it in balance or is it way out of whack? If it's way out of whack, give yourself some distance, give yourself some time to refill your cup. And this also goes vice versa. If you're in a really healthy relationship and you have a super positive balance, but that person happens to make a mistake, you can see it as just a withdraw rather than identify this person as the problem. The person isn't the problem. They simply made a human error of sorts. If you have enough of a foundation, your relationship should be able to return to homeostasis pretty easily. In all of your relationships, healthy or unhealthy, become really self-aware and recognize both how other people are treating you, what the balance in your relationship is, and be aware of how you are affecting other people. If you want extremely healthy and happy relationships, which who doesn't, you have to make it a point to make deposits in your relationships and make it a point to make sure that the other person is seeing them as deposits. Even though you may not mean to make a withdrawal, the other person could take what you're doing as a withdrawal. It's also good to move forward recognizing when you're making withdrawals and immediately, sincerely apologizing for your withdrawals. So what does your emotional bank account look like within yourself at the moment? What has it looked like in your relationship with your narcissistic mother? What does it look like in your relationships now? What do you want it to look like in your future relationships? Let me know in the comments below. I love you. I so appreciate you watching and being a part of my life. This is such a beautiful part of my life and I hope that it's a bright and beautiful part of yours. I'll talk to you next week. Peace.